Hey, Michael Lake with altobone.com. Um, I get a lot of people asking me for recommendations on what Alto to buy. They think it sounds cool and they're intrigued and they're thinking about buying one, but they don't want to spend $4,000 to see if they take to it, right? And I don't blame them at all. Um, unfortunately, my answer is always the same. I don't know. You know, I send them pictures and pages from Alto Trombone Savvy where I list the dozen or so altos reprinted, by the way, with the kind permission of Peter Corner and Heinrich Tien. But I don't really feel like I'm helping. You know, all I've played for decades is my beloved Yamaha YSL 671. And I haven't really tried that many altos. Uh, except for last summer at the ITF. I, I, I walked around and I tried a few and I must say I wasn't impressed. Except for the Shires. I really I do like the Shires. Um, uh, the little bit I played with it, it locks into the pitches nicely. It sounds beautiful. The only thing I didn't like about it was the heavy slide. Um, because the tuning's in the slide, I get why they do that sonically, but it was just, it's too heavy. Um, the most important feature of a trombone for me is the slide more than tone to a certain point or high notes or, or even pitch, you know, to a point. Uh, I really need a slide that's like glass on ice, right? <laughs> so with all of this said, I decided about a week ago to buy the cheapest alto I could find online and just see how it plays. So I bought this from eBay, a Maz whatever that is. And, I, and I've spent some time over the last few days online trying to figure out who makes this thing. Uh, I even emailed a, the, a couple of the sellers, but you know, no one's writing me back. But here's the one thing I do know for sure. $189. $189, right? Here it is, by the way. <laughs> the Maz. So uh, the question is, how does it play? I think it plays great. You know, I won't make many friends at the, uh, at the big trombone makers, but uh, nobody's paying me to promote their horns, so I can be perfectly honest with you. Um, you know, what if I became the Moz spokesperson? Uh, oh, I, I played a friend's uh, Bach alto a while back, and it was terrible. It was, very, it was a pro horn, but it was very loose, very stuffy. And like I said, I have played a bunch of altos at last year's ITF, and I, and I wouldn't have spent $200 on any of them other than the Shires. So I am discerning about horns, uh, and I must say that the Maz is pretty darn good. It's a single bore, unlike the Yamaha's uh, dual bore. The Yamaha is a 4.9 and a 4.7. The Maz is right there in the middle at 4.8. And because of that, you do have to put a bit more air through it. But the sound is big. You know, I like it. So uh, here's a quick taste test. Um, first, I'm going to play my Yamaha YSL671 with a 6.5 AL mouthpiece. Uh, which is the same thing I'm going to put into the Maz in a second. So it sounds like this. Thank you. 
knows better. Okay. Um, now let me try the Moz. The Moz. I'll try and play about the same thing. Um, tuning slide is out a little further than my Yamaha. It's a little more than half inch out. I'm going to do a, a tuning test in a second. There's a difference, but not big enough to pay $4,000 for, you know, especially if you're just starting out and you want to see if the Alta works for you. Now, the slide on the Moz is a bit heavier, as you would expect, right? Because it's, and, and, and it's, it, the slide is not great. I mean, it's doable, but it's got a little clickety-clack, and the slide's not exactly uh, glass, what did I say, glass on ice um, that my Yamaha is. Um, I'd like to see the slide better, but again, I know I'm paying 200 bucks. You know, be, and with the slide, the, the, the Moz doesn't really allow me the finesse that I can get out of my Yamaha. Uh, it's really more of a two-dimensional horn, right? It's, granted, I've only been playing it three days, but it doesn't have the depth, uh, and I think part of it's the dual board that the Yamaha has. It's a little bit like my beloved Steinway, lots of depth as opposed to, you know, an inexpensive grand that's kind of like I'm calling it two-dimensional. And, you know, for me, finesse is a big part of my playing. So, you know, I like the horn, but I'm probably going to be playing the Yamaha um, full-time. Uh, let's, let's do a little tuning on this. So, like I said, I got the tuning slide out about a half an inch. So it's pretty good. The G is a little bit sharp, but I don't mind that. It's better than if it was flat, right? Um, so finesse. It doesn't have the finesse, but you know, if you're starting out and you're just kind of figuring out the positions and the intonation of an alto, you know, you're a long way away from caring about finesse, I think. <laughs> so um, if you want a solid alto with all the positions, and by the way, people complain that cheap altos don't have a seventh position. I mean, this has a seventh position. <laughs> that uh, tenor players tend to go like this right they're looking for that longer thing but it does have a seventh position and the E's pretty well in tune so that's done so listen if you've got a spare hundred and eighty nine dollars and you're hungry to try an alto the Moz is my recommendation oh and they threw in they threw in a couple of white gloves which is really a nice touch if they, if only they weren't sized for a small child um, but then again, the horn is marketed as a child's trombone, unfortunately. Um, now, maybe the next one that you buy uh, or that I buy, it won't play like this. Maybe they're inconsistent, but, you know, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't like it, you just ship it back.
And if you want to play around with an Alto, I think it's an easy decision. And I, uh, what I'd like to do is offer you a, uh, a chance to get some money off on my book, Alto Trombone Savvy. So if you pick one of these up and if you want to, you can use the coupon code CHEAPALTO at the checkout at my store at altobone.com and get $10 off my book, Alto Trombone Savvy and you will get a 75 page user manual for your new Moz. So let me, if you buy this, let me know what you think. Leave some comments. I, I would love to kind of get a sense of what the consensus is. I think it's a great horn for the money and uh, try it out. Thanks. <laughs>